Good morning. Today we are in Valladolid. We are staying two nights here. We got in here um, yesterday afternoon and we did get to walk around and kind of get our bearings. The town is super pretty and it's actually really well known for having a lot of cenotes or um, these sinkholes that were caused by, I think, a meteor or asteroid crashing a um, long time ago. There's thousands in the Yucatan Peninsula. And Valladolid is directly in between Cancun and uh, Merida. It's about two hours from Cancun, two and a half from Merida. So it makes, um, you could do it as a day trip, but it's such a pretty city and there's so much to see and do that's like definitely worth staying at least the night. Um, so we're starting off today though at a cenote and we were trying to uh, visit one early because it's supposed to rain this afternoon and because we're trying to avoid the crowds. So this is going to be cenote Oshun. So your entrance to the cenote is going to cost 150 pesos if you just want the entrance. That includes your rental of the life vest because you have to wear a life vest. And a lot of um, these cenotes now, because they're so popular, that is required. Uh, you also can pay 300 pesos and it includes a 250 peso credit at the bar and restaurants. So if you want to get food here, we're going to eat somewhere else. If you want to like make it a whole day, that's a really great option. You do have to shower before just to make sure that you don't get any oils, sunscreens, lotions, all that kind of stuff in the water because it can disrupt the ecosystem. And this um, particular uh, cenote is on an hacienda, which is like a Spanish estate or plantation, similar to kind of what you'd see in the South and in the Southern United States. And we're really excited to check it out. We're here at about 9.30 and it's not too crowded yet. Cenote Oshuan, um, two big tour buses filled with people showed up. And so it was already getting kind of crowded as we were like getting ready to leave, but I can only imagine how busy it was. It was about 11.30 when we left. We got there about 9.30, so we spent about two hours. Um, they have a pool too, but like you have the cenote, especially if you're there early, there's no need for the pool. It was really fun, definitely worth it. I uh, thought it was pretty fair for the price, 150 pesos, about seven or eight dollars. There's a lot more expensive ones in Tulum. So overall, very, very happy with our experience. Now we are going to get some lunch. We're going to, of course, get cochinita papil, which is traditional Yucatan food. We're going to get some tacos um, from this cart called El Tigrillo. It might have a different name now, but on Google Maps, it's called El Tigrillo. And of course, like usual, I'll share our Google Maps list. And then after that, we are going to Casa de los Venados, which is a private home with uh, Mayan and artesanía art. Suéltame, suéltame ahora, baby, suéltame, suéltame. Lunch was really good. In case you don't know, cochinita pavil is a pork. It's like cooked in the ground and it's really um, tender and it has kind of a citrusy kind of orange seasoning. It, lunch was great. It was really nice just to eat on the street and have a nice cold Coke. And then we walked by the um, como Zocolo and the church and checked inside there before heading to the Casa de los Venados, which is a private home with a co largest collection of um, Mexican cultural art and they do um, tours every hour from like 10 to 3 and so you do need to go on a tour you can't just show up whenever so we were a little early so we went back and waited until our tour started at 2. It was just us which was really cool they give you this the tour through the whole house uh, they English or Spanish lots of really cool facts about Mexican history about the different art pieces artists 
it was definitely worth it. Really cool. It was only, they have a suggested donation of 100 pesos a person. So like five bucks a person. And they donate all of the proceeds to charity because it's literally the house. Like the owners live there and it's their hobby to collect. And so they share that with the community and to raise charity for, or raise money for charity. So we got really lucky that it's we were inside because it started downpouring like crazy. It probably lasted like 20 minutes though and now it's still a little gloomy. Probably will rain again, but we're gonna go check out another Sanope. We just finished at our second cenote for the day. It's cenote suitun, and it also is 150 pesos for entrance, and it you know includes parking, your life vest, because you do have to wear your life vest when swimming. And a lot like the other cenotes in this area, and it was so crowded. We tried to come in the afternoon thinking like, oh, they're gonna close in like an hour, but we got here like 3.40, and it was super crowded. They actually don't close until like six. They start to kick people out of like the cenote area at like 5.40, so we had tons of people. It was really cool. I definitely like the first one better, and um, I like that it had the rope swing, more stuff to do, but this one did have like that really cool photo spot with the pedestal. You do have to wait in line because that's what everybody wants to do. A lot of people come here, it seems like, and they just take that picture like there and don't swim or anything. But it's still a really cool spot. It's different, it's unique, you know, and it's completely submerged. You're like in this cave, except for this little tiny hole at the top. So really cool spot. And we are gonna go get some dinner before finishing up our day. Are finishing up our day in Valladolid and we stopped back at the Zocalo again and it was actually just perfect. It wasn't too hot, it was a nice breeze, it was beautiful out so you have to try something called a marquesita. It's kind of like a crunchy crepe, they put a lot of similar fillings in it as well and you have to try it with like Nutella and cheese and it's not cream cheese, it's like actual cheese and like the sweet and the savory are really good so you can add, um, also add some fruit in there, cream cheese, Ferrero Rocher, you can add all this different stuff but definitely need that base of the Nutella and cheese, it's so good. Next, we um, while we waited and ate our marquesitas, we uh, waited for supposedly the free walking tour that's supposed to be every day at 10 a.m., 5 p.m., and 7 p.m., but they didn't show up. And we finally got a hold of them on WhatsApp and they just said there is no tour today. So I will make sure to add in the description the phone number so you can you know message them before and just confirm that there is a tour during your tour time. Don't have any feedback on that because it didn't happen. We are now walking down Calzada de los Frailes, which is the pedestrian street with lots of cute restaurants and hotels and shops that goes all the way down to the monastery. And we are going to stop at the monastery because at 9 p.m. every night and also at 
925, 9 p.m. is in Spanish and 925 is in English. They do like polite projections on the monastery, the side of the building, and they talk about the history of Ayodolid. So that's free, super fun. We went last night, but tonight we wanted to go and get some better seats because we couldn't see very well or hear very well. So you are gonna wanna get there a little bit early to get good seats because if you're like on the side, there may be too much light and it's hard to see all the projections and it may be loud with the cars driving by, you won't be able to hear everything. It feels a lot like the town that Nephi's from. Lots of just colored streets. It's very pretty, super cute. Um, definitely worth a visit. And just some final tips, you know, in the summer is technically rainy season and it's the low season. So just be prepared for rain. If you're not going to rent a car, you know, if you're gonna bike, you're gonna scooter when it's downpouring, it can be a lot harder to get around than if you're in a car, you can easily, you know, get around. Um, so it's gonna be high season in the winter and low season in the summer. Vital lead is awesome highly recommend it hope you guys can come out and visit let us know how your trip goes or any tips you have for people visiting via the lead and join us tomorrow as we visit chichen itza and another cenote